of bony fish are called cycloid scales. There's also another type of scale called tenoid scales um, that will look just like the cycloid scales, but it'll have some like protrusions on one side. Uh, these scales are made out of bone, okay, and they're on the outside of the body. They're arranged in an overlapping pattern, so like you would have like tiles on a roof or something like that. That's how you would have the scales on a fish. Um, and then over the scales, they have a layer of skin and then also mucus, okay. And that mucus is why like fish are so slippery. Like if you try to hold a fish, it's very very slippery. Um, that mucus also helps to protect them from like bacteria and stuff like that. Uh, so when you touch a fish, you actually wipe off some of that mucus and you expose them to bacteria and stuff and they can get sick. Um, and what's really cool about these is you can actually count the rings okay, on the scales in order to um, tell how old the fish is. Mm -hmm. Yeah, same thing with trees. Yep, just like a tree trunk. Okay. Their senses. Okay, their senses. They have really good vision. Okay, and their vision is going to be the sense that they rely on the most in order to hunt. Um, they do have a good sense of smell as well, but it's not going to be get as good as sharks. And um, it's going to not be what they rely on in order to find prey. They're going to rely on vision. Uh, their lateral line system, we talked about that uh, with the shark, and you also saw it in the shark video that you watched. That's like the sense of distant touch, okay? So uh, fish have that as well, that they can sense things that are happening outside of their bodies away from them in the water. And then they also have good hearing. Their ears are internal. Um, they actually have almost as good of hearing as we do. Okay, so they can hear all, uh, pretty much in the same range as we can. We'll talk more about those. So all of these senses, all of that stuff is interpreted by the brain okay, of the fish. So the fish does have a brain. And then it's got a spinal cord and nerves and stuff in order to send signals back and forth to the fish's body. Okay. Olfaction is the sense of smell. Their nose is a little bit different from ours. So their nose are, is simply like two pits on the front of their face. So when you do your shark di or, sorry, fish dissection, You'll see, um, you'll have like the two eyes and you'll see there's like two little pits on the front of the face of the fish. Um, and they're literally just like little pits. And then inside of there, they'll have like little sensory cells, okay? And those little sensory cells, as the fish swims through the water, the water comes into those little pits and any sort of chemicals and stuff that are in the water get picked up by those sensory cells and sends a signal to the brain of the fish and they can smell that way. It's different from you because your nose actually connects to your respiratory system, right? Theirs does not. They're just two little pits in the front of their face. If you look at the fish and those olfactory pits are large, that tells you that they actually rely more on their sense of smell. So the larger their nose, the better they can smell. Taste and hearing. Um, like I said, their ears, they are internal and they have almost as good of hearing as we do. So we can hear between 20 and 20,000 hertz. They can hear between 200 and 13,000 hertz, so almost as good as us. Um, they do have a lateral line system. And then their taste. So they do have taste receptors on their tongue, and they do have a tongue. You'll see it in your fish on Friday. And so they've got taste receptors on their tongue, but they also have taste receptors like on their lips and like even on their jaw, okay? Even like, um, how many of you know what a catfish looks, looks like? The little things that hang off its face? Okay, those little things that hang off its face are called barbells. And those little things have taste receptors on them. So those little catfish, or big catfish, can move around and actually like use those little barbells to taste in the ground to help find their prey. So they can taste things before it ever gets into their mouth, which is kind of weird. Strange. So they have um, lots of taste receptors. Here's the lateral line system. Um, the lateral line system runs around the head and then down the side of the fish's body. And it's literally a canal that is open to the surrounding seawater and it's full of seawater. Okay, so uh, this whole canal right here in red, okay, the, there will be little pores in here that open up to the seawater. And seawater can flow through the pores into this canal and back out the pores. Okay, so it's full of seawater. 
So if a fish moves over here, okay, it'll create pressure waves that move through the water, okay, and will enter in through the pores of the lateral line system, and then move through the canal that's inside here. And then inside of that little canal, there's little sensory cells, and as those pressure waves hit those sensory, cell, sensory cells, sends a signal through a nerve to the brain, and the fish senses what's around it, which is kind of cool. That's really, really important for schooling fish. You know what a school of fish is? Like a big group of fish, yeah? Um, so that lateral line system tells like the fish that are swimming next to each other when this one moves where it's going and, and what motion to follow. Okay, if they didn't have that sense, uh, they'd like be running into each other and it'd be just a disaster. Okay, so that lateral line system helps them to not run into each other. Their vision, okay, their vision. They do have good vision, but their eyes are going to be different from ours. So they do not have eyelids. They don't blink like we do. They also um, don't adjust their pupil size. So do you know what your pupil of your eye is? Yeah, the, yeah, the thing that goes like that or like the black dot in the middle of your eye, right? So when you go outside, okay, and it's nice and sunny outside, your pupil contracts, right? It gets really small um, because it's bright outside and you don't want all that light coming into your eye because then you wouldn't be able to see very well, so your pupil gets smaller to help you be able to see, okay? When you walk into a dark room, your pupil gets large to allow lots of light in to help you to see, okay? Uh, fish don't have that, so their pupils don't change size because they don't need it. They live in water. Light gets filtered out a lot in the water, and so they don't need to adjust that pupil size because the quality of light is not that good. Does that make sense? So they don't adjust their pupil size. The way that they focus their eyes is also different. So when you focus your eyes, your lens okay, actually changes shape. So you have muscles that change the shape of your lens that focus the image on the back on your retina. Uh, their eyes, they actually take that lens and they move it back and forth in order to focus. So if you're into photography, you know, like the big pictures and then like how you twist the thing and it moves that back and forth in order to focus the camera, that's what a fish's eye is doing. It's like taking that lens and it's moving it back and forth to focus the image. Really cool about fish's eyes is they actually have what's called monocular vision, which means they have two eyes and each of those eyes sees a different picture. Okay, so you have two eyes, you see one picture. They have two eyes, they see two pictures. So if you watch a fish, they'll actually move their eyes separately, and they'll actually be looking at two different things at once. It's strange. It's weird for us to try and envision because we don't even have a concept of what that would be like, right? I mean, yeah, you can cover one eye, but it's not like you're still seeing one picture, right? It's not like two pictures, two separate pictures. You can't like look up and look down at the same time, whereas fish can do that. So there's, you, you can't, no matter how hard you try, you can't, okay? So they have monocular vision, it's pretty cool. All right, here's your internal organs. We'll talk more about this when you do your dissection. 